Welcome back to my channel. Um, don't mind my hair. It's a little crazy. Didn't know what to do with it. It's really, really curly, but I combed it all out. So it's kind of just the big puff ball. In today's video, my family wanted me to make these kinds of cookies. Um, I helped my dad literally just now make pumpkin pies. So my stuff is already pre-measured. As you can see, it's a little bright. There we go. Um, it's already pre-measured just so that there wasn't so much stuff out in the counters because he was making four pies. Um, so my stuff's there, all measured out, uh, so we're gonna make these cookies, and these kinds of cookies are gonna be cheesecake cookies. I wanted to show you guys the pumpkin pies that my dad is making right now, they're in the oven, and my dad, right here, I helped him make those pies. Eee! They're gonna be so good, I wish you guys could taste them, mm, so I'm good. Not gonna share. Mm-mm-mm. Look at them pies. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. We're gonna start these cookies. So I'm, of course, currently using my phone to record this video. So I have to use my husband's work phone to follow the instructions. So give me a second while I get those. Okay. So we're gonna be mixing, I'm actually doubling everything on here because I'm gonna be sharing these cookies with a few other people. So it typically calls for one half cup of unsalted butter, but I'm actually doing a full cup. So we're gonna put a full cup in here of butter. Mmm, yummy. Delicious. One cup, which in this case is two sticks of butter, because each stick is one half cup. Calls for four ounces of cream cheese. In this recipe, I'll be doing eight ounces of cream cheese. So I'll be doing the whole thing. I didn't open this freaking. Oh, come on. Also, it does say to have the butter and the cream cheese softened. So I did leave these out for a little bit. So they are absolutely ready to mix. They won't be hard to mix. And I'm struggling to get the cream cheese out. Okay, so now it says to mix these two together. Next, it says to add the powdered sugar um, until it is combined with the cream cheese and the butter. And it does say to do one and one half cup of powdered sugar. But since I'm doubling it, I'm actually gonna be putting three cups of powdered sugar. So let's get to it. So next it says to add the egg, the baking powder, vanilla, and the salt. And the recipe calls for one egg, a half teaspoon of baking powder, one, table, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then a pinch of kosher salt. But since I'm doubling it, I'm going to do two eggs. I'm still going to do a pinch of salt. And then I did one, ta one teaspoon of baking powder and then 
two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So next it says to add the flour little by little until it's fully mixed into the mixture which will create a dough and it asks for one and three fourths cup of sugar or excuse me of flour but since I'm doubling it I'm going to be doing three and one half cups of flour. It says, once this is completely mixed, to set the dough in the fridge for about an hour. Now that the dough's in the fridge, it's gonna be in there for an hour, so I'll see you guys then. All right guys, so it's been an hour, and you might notice that it's this change of scenery. Well, it's kinda late and my parents are going to bed. I still gotta finish these cookies. So we are in my kitchen downstairs. So we're gonna finish them down here. Next on the instructions is to preheat the oven at 375. We got that going. Let's see, one cookie sheet. Oh. I don't have parchment paper, so foil it will be. And then I got the mixture here, the cinnamon and the sugar mixed together. Because once we get the cookies ready, I believe we coat them in that mixture and then get them ready to bake. All right, let's get to it. Mm -hmm. cookies ready and coated in the sugar and cinnamon mixture that I made. Oven is still preheating. These are going to go in there and then I'll show you once they're done. The oven just went off. It is at 375 so I'm going to stick the cookies in. Okay, I'll see you in about 8 to 10 minutes. So the cookies are finished and they look so so good. Um, let me show you guys really quick how they So these are the cookies and they turned out so good. I haven't tried one yet. They're still pretty hot, but I wanted to get them on this plate so you guys can see. Oh, I can't wait to try one. So that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. It's a little different. It's out of my comfort zone. I'm not one to really cook in front of people. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys liked it. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share. Um, there will be a lot more videos coming and there's going to be a lot more of everything on my channel. So um, if you guys could share, get your friends to kind of subscribe, watch my videos. I mean, you don't have to. I'm not forcing you guys to, but It'd be nice if you did. Um, so 
So I'm gonna just enjoy myself one cooking tonight because I wanna make sure I did a good job. <laughs> but until next time guys, see ya.